there are many advanced features and upgrades in Zebras since it got started, which are not possible to put in words. So let's see in practical how it works in Chapter 12. It's so advanced. It's so, so advanced. Oh, not again! <laughs> In this new chapter, which is about advanced features and brushes, we will be getting into some features that can affect your model in very controlled ways as opposed to the sculpture and organic ways that we have looked at so far. First, let's take a look at how to delete part of a model. Now, this happens a lot when you have a model and you don't want any part anymore and you want to delete that part for good. So, let's take a look uh, at this model. There are some subdivision level over here now it will uh, work with the higher uh, subdivision le uh, level as well but th there are some uh, steps to do that so i have a higher subdivision level you can see uh, around five so i will press shift d to go to the lower subdivision level and you can see i'm moving to the lower subdivision by pressing shift and d on my keyboard now at i'm at uh, subdivision level one now suppose i don't want his head so what I can do, two different ways to do that. Control shift and select the body. So if I will select the body, what it will do is that it will keep the body, but it will hide the head. Or I can press control shift, alt, select the head with the red uh, rectangle you can see and it will hide the head. Or what else I can do over here is I can press control only on my keyboard. And drag a mask on his body and once the mask is there I can go to my visibility option over here and once I'm in the visibility option I can click on the hide button here so it will hide it so either way will work so whatever you want whatever you feel uh, is right you can use that option now I will go to the geometry and here in the geometry, you will see modified topology. Now, modified topology have, a op have an option which is, uh, it has an option which is like, it's called a delete hidden. So, if I will click on delete hidden, so whatever has hidden right now will be gone forever. It will be deleted for good. It's not like it's hidden. It will be completely 100% deleted like removed. So, if I'll press delete hidden over here. So, uh, I have done that. Now everything is removed. So now you can go back to your subdivision level by sliding this uh, here. Or you can just press uh, D a couple of times to go back. Now you can see that if I will press control, okay, I try to bring, drag this out or control shift and try to click anywhere here, dragging out, it's not coming back because it is gone forever. So now only way if I want to bring back is to undo till it come back okay now I will do the same thing but now I will be doing that on the higher subdivision level so this time I will do a simple one control shift alt select the head to hide it once it is hidden then simply I will go to my uh, modified topology and click on the delete header so as soon it I will do that it will say that you are on the higher subdivision level okay and you cannot delete so what I can do at this stage is that I can just delete my lower subdivision levels so if I will do that I will click delete now why I'm doing this on the higher subdivision level because if I'm doing on the higher subdivision level you can see the cut that I made is really smooth, unlike how it was before when I was doing it on the lower subdivision level. So higher subdivision level gives you smooth and nice cuts. So that's one thing. So for example, if I'm on the lower subdivision level, and let me do one thing here, Control Shift Alt, but I will choose Lasso tool here to create a lasso. And do that on the lower subdivision level you can see it's not smooth it doesn't look that good 
but if i'll press d a couple of time to go to my higher subdivision level and if i'll press control shift alt and even if i will draw something like this and select this so you can see a very nice smooth wavy selection it has made so that's why it's a uh, good if i'm doing this uh, like if i'm deleting this head on the higher subdivision level now it will not allow me because i'm on the higher subdivision level it will give me this error so simple i can delete the lower so it will delete my lower subdivision level now i can press delete hidden and now that's gone forever okay so hopefully this tip comes in handy and when you want to delete any unnecessary part of your model you can this uh, you can do that in this way so if you have enjoyed my video please click on the like button and i will be uploading uh, new lessons tutorials live sessions and full courses along with other useful videos so don't forget to click on the bell icon so you can get all the notifications i will highly appreciate if you all will give me a shout out to my channel on your social media account which will help me to get more subscriber and this will motivate me to create more content for you and all so guys thanks a lot for your support and uh, please continue supporting me and take care of yourself till we meet for the next lesson